but listen, there's a lot of hard work to be done, but we need people at the club who are, who are willing to put them put them yards in and, and, and show the commitment it takes to, to play for this club. Should I stay or should I go now? Should I stay or should I go now? If I stay, there will be trouble. If I go, there will be double. Lee Catlamore, should he stay or should he go? Apparently, Steve Bruce, the Sheffield Wednesday manager, is after him. But the stumbling block is the wages. Steve Bruce has managed Lee Catlamore before at Wigan and also at Sunderland for £40,000 a week. That is apparently what Lee Catlamore is on in League One at Sunderland at this moment in time. The wages are absolutely enormous for League One, but is £40,000 a week still too big for the Championship? Can Steve Bruce persuade, yes, persuade Lee Catlamore to drop his wages and to go to Sheffield Wednesday and go back into the Championship? Is it good enough for the Championship now? Because Lee Catlamore's had his best season at Sunderland in a red and white shirt for many a year. But he's only had 29 appearances. So he's injury prone. He's been injury prone this season. And should Sunderland keep Lee Catamore? He deserves his testimonial this summer. But do we keep Lee Catamore next season? Or do we let him go? Will Lee Catamore drop his wages again for next season at Steers Sunderland? Or will he keep the wages as it is for another two seasons? Because he's got a two year left on his contract. Would he drop his wages and go to Sheffield Wednesday? Or will Sheffield Wednesday and Steve Bruce pay the £40,000 a week and take Lee Catamore from Sunderland? Do you want Lee Catamore to go or do you want him to stay? Personally, I want Lee Catamore to stay. I think he's a fabulous player. Our best player last season. Unfortunately, you couldn't play a full season last season. I think you only played 29 games, but scored the most goals in his career. He's only scored 10. He's played 233 matches over a 10-year period at Sunderland and only scored 10 goals, but scored 7 in League 1 last season. One of the only players left who's came down from the Premier League to the Championship down to League 1 in the Premier League. He had a career threatening injury. Everybody thought and the signs coming out the camp was that Lee Catamore was finished. He got, I think it was a thigh injury he got when he played Crystal Palace. I was at that match. We were leading 2-0. Catamore went off. We got B3-2. That was the start where he was out for a long time with a really bad injury and all the reports were coming out that he was finished. But he got himself back. It's taken a few seasons. You don't get back from a bad injury straight away. You know, you're hesitant about going in for tackles. You're worried that's going to happen again because you don't want to finish your career. You know, he would have finished his career in his 20s. You don't want to finish your career in your 20s. You want to keep playing football into your 30s. You love football. You want to keep going at it. But you never, you never go in 100% like you used to in the olden days. So he wasn't the same for two or three seasons. But this season, the old league, Catamore's been back. Yes, in a lower season, in a lower league, sorry. But he scored seven goals, but only played 29 games out of a possible 40, 46 games. So he's had one or two niggles this season, one or two injuries, which kept him out of a few games. So is he worth £40,000 a week, only getting 29 games a season out of him? But what he does bring to the side is determination, leadership, drive, the want, the will, the desire, the ambition. He wants to put a shift in and do everything, wears his heart on his sleeve. And he's 100% Sunderland through and through. You don't get many of those. You don't get many of those at a club. And he, the young players looking up. What a role model Lee Catamore is. A great role model. How to play for your team. How, how to want to win a football match. To play for the fans. It's one of... It, it, is he 50-50? Is he like Marmite, like me? Do the fa half the fans want him to stay? Half the fans want him to go? What do you want them? Do you want to keep Lee Catamore at Sunderland Football Club for another League One campaign? Leave your comments down below. Or do you want him to go? Is it time to let the shackles go and get rid of the £40,000 a week? Save that money. And will he go? Or will he just sit there and take £40,000 a week for two more seasons? and play good football like he's been doing. Personally, I'd keep him for another season. If we could afford to get rid of the likes of Oviedo and Matthews and keep Catamore, then fair enough. That's me. If the new 
the new ownership new ownership comes in with the consortium they have the money to pay Lee Catnam all the wages and they're happy for him to stay because they've seen what he's given this last season if every player put in the 100% and scored the 7 goals like Catnam all did we'll be laughing we'll be back in the championship as far as I'm concerned if the rest of the midfield did the same kind of job as Catnam all and put a shift in and scored the seven goals, we'd be back in the championship already. But it's not my decision. It's the owner's decision. It's Captain Moore's decision. It's the like of Steve Bruce want to come in and pay the money and take him to the championship. But does he want to go? Does he want to leave the North East? Or is he happy, content, being in the North East, the place where he loves? But I'll tell you one thing, Lee Captain Moore has been the best player this, this last season. Easily the best player for me all day long. In the games he's played, he's made the difference. Never mind missing penalties at Wembley. That everybody, anybody can do that. Should never take one in the first place. Should have been other players in before Lee Catlamore, as far as I'm concerned. Nobody blames him for that. He's been an absolute star this season. Wearing the red and white shirt. Brilliant. I want to keep him for another season. And hopefully, next season, it'll be even fitter. Another season over the, the, the career threatening injury. And hopefully the little niggles... The little breakups and injury, missing two or three games will stop. He'll get a full season in. Then he'll be worth his weight in gold in this league. A few more players like Lee Catamore and we be people. <laughs> a few more players like Lee Catamore and we be promoted all day long. I get there eventually. <laughs> so hopefully he won't go. Hopefully, hopefully he drop his wages a little bit for the new ownership, new consortium, because he wants to spend the he wants to spend the last of his days at Sunderland before he retires and maybe even be a coaching role at some point. But you give me your opinions, it's all about opinions, it's a game of opinions. That's my opinion. We'll say what your opinions are. We know what Jack Ross's opinions and Lee Catamore's and anybody who comes in and wants to buy him, but Stuart Donald is the owner at this moment in time. I'm looking forward to going to his testimonial. That'd be a fantastic occasion. Lee Catamore deserves a testimonial. Right? If I'm a little rant, if I let me say, you write down in the comments, yes, you have your say now, and I'll catch you next time. I'll tell you what, if Lee Catamore goes, I think I'll be turning it to drink. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Because a vision softly creeping Left its seed while I was sleeping And the vision that was planted in my brain Still remains Within the sound of silence